Okay, let's show only the strip. We hide the tool, show the strip, and let's put another form punch in on the bottom over here. And it remembers the last information on the type of material and hardness so we don't have to fill that in. And the focus is on where do you want the sketch to be. And then, as I've said before, love this part. Just click on that sketch icon, it zooms us in. And let's throw some dimensions on here. convert this entity and then change it to construction geometry oops we've got an angle there I've got to make it parallel first there we go and now let's throw a dimension on hundred thousandths Okay, and just for graphics reasons, I typically like to change my form punch inserts from transparent to solid. Okay, now let's edit this part and start a sketch on the top plane. And we're going to put an insert in here. So we'll, well, switch to normal without zooming out. Logo press three function. And let's, let's see, how should I dimension this? Um, I guess I'll start by putting a rectangle in here, or actually, let's put a line here first, a center line, then we'll do a rectangle from the midpoint out to there. and dimension that. And that. And make these parallel. Again, I could have done that on the last form insert. I didn't need that construction line really. Let's put some chamfers on the corners and you can choose to make one different than the other for the sake of time. I'm not going to bother but obviously we'd want to foolproof this in some way. That's certainly the preferred method I would say that people like to do it like to foolproof them. So we'll stop editing that. And then with our sketch selected, we use the add and insert command. And we'll just leave the name for now. We'll go through all. We can also make it blind, change it, different material, different hardness. It's going to be a totally separate part. And we can also put a shim underneath it. Very common to do so that you can Throw some small shims in between that quarter inch thick hardened shim. And very nice and efficient. There's our insert. 
getting mated into place. And yes, I want to edit the crossed plate because I want to change those chamfers to fillets. So we'll use the, the sketch fillet management tools in LogoPress for that. And automatically change the chamfers to fillets and the chamfers that were there we change those to construction geometry all right let's open that and I already know that this this emboss is two millimeters deep so I'm going to draw a line across and just dimension it two millimeters and chop it off and I used a lot of mouse shortcuts that's why you don't see me clicking for any icons to go looking for an icon a lot of keyboard shortcuts and a lot of mouse shortcuts so there we have our insert and let's get rid of that sketch hide the sketch that is And we hide the strip layout and let's see next let's put some more standard components and we'll screw this die block down change to socket head cap screws again 316 okay and automatic pattern it remembers our last setting change to 4 change this to 750 validate and validate and then we'll put some dowels in again first pick is a press fit second is a slip fit so it's opposite of what you do for the socket head cap screws opposite selection order change to two points And okay that and we'll offset one to foolproof it. And let's make these the same. I'm not sure why they were different. But let's counter bore these right away. So again, it's just a matter of this easy to edit it. Length of the screw will update. There we go. and let's show our upper we've got nitrogen cylinders and our hardware is in the upper let's show the whole tool and we'll see you in the next video